Okay, this lesson is called Correlating Rock Layers Using Index Fossils. Geologists try to match similar rock layers in different locations to see if they formed at the same time or under the same conditions. This process is called cor rock correlation. Match the rock layers in one section with the layers in the other section by drawing arrows to the layers that match up by fossil type. Sometimes the rock type will match, but not always. Remember that sometimes erosion can remove layers that used to be there and then more layers can be deposited on the second eroded layer. So looking at this, I see that these two layers match up with each other. So I just draw a little arrow across here. These two match up with each other. And these two layers match up with each other. Even though they're not the same type of rock, these two are the same age, these two are the same age, and these two are the same age. And if I number this, this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Over here, this would be number three. This would be four. This would be six. There's our unconformity. So there's a layer that's missing, seven and eight. So I've connected the layers by their fossils. Label each layer which is oldest. So this would be oldest over here. This would be oldest over here. Which layer between them is older would be the right outcrop because this one has the lower number. An unconformity exists between the two layers. What's a possible reason? The unconformity appears only in the first section, not the other. So why here? Because in that first section we had uplift, we had weathering and erosion, and we had subsidence, and then we have number four, new deposition. How old do you think the fossil uh, that's shaped like this in the second layer is compared to the rocks around it? Well, I'm going to say that it's between 5 million years old and 6 million years old. Now, how did I figure that out? This layer we know for certain is 6 million years old. This layer over here is 5 million years old. This is in between those two layers. The fossil that is a wing-shaped clam is found in sandstone in the first layer, and then it's found in limestone over here. So that's, they're talking about this. What would be a ex possible explanation for that is that in this region we had sand being deposited, and in this region we had limestone being formed. So we had different areas of deposition occurring at the same time. How, uh, using the diagram, which of the following fossils is the oldest and how do you know? Well, if I were to number this, this would be one, two, three, so the oldest would be C, and it's located on the bottom. It's the bottom layer. What is the order of the layers? The order would be C, B, and A. And the technique I'm using for this is I'm using the law of superposition, which says the oldest is on the bottom. Then we take a look at these two columns here. We want to match them up. We have index fossils. We don't use the, uh, the type of rock, but these two index fossils match. So that means those two match like this. So this is layer one, two, three. This would be layer three, four, and five. The two layers with the same age would be C and D. They have the same index fossil. Which layer is oldest? That would be layer F. It's at the bottom of all the layers. And the youngest would be A, which is at the top.